12 months ago we had um, a tenant who uh, was profoundly deaf and he came into reception and one of our staff from our lettings team went down to see him and she'd been learning to sign. So she sat down with him and he could sign and he actually said to her, this is the first time someone has ever treated me as an individual with respect and I'm really grateful. When you do something and you get the feedback that shows that what you've done is right, you get satisfaction. When I found out I felt so proud of her and I felt, yeah, that's what we should be doing. I think that's what we all work for. Uh, it was about trust and uh, about trusting people and, and we, do, we do trust the staff. I've always known that our staff are able to uh, take, to be able to say yes, we can do. There's lots of ideas coming up and people are coming out and, and putting their hands up and, and stuff, so the confidence has obviously grown. Proudest of sort of making a difference in people's lives, really. When I came, it was the fact that everyone was so friendly and welcoming and it felt an organisation that I'd be proud to work for. I think it's that community spirit, getting everybody involved. I like Wolven as a company, as a whole. Um, I think we do good by the tenants. I think all the improvements we're doing now with the new kitchens, bathrooms, really helps. They come and they put new kitchens and new boilers and driveways and bathrooms. So again, that's good because they're improving the property for you and you've got a really nice property to live in. And for me, I just really like a nice home to live in and, you know, and a nice place to look at and to look after. I was diagnosed when I was in hospital with postnatal depression and they hurried the application a bit so I could get settled with myself and the baby. There seems to be a certain closeness between the officers and the residents and already I feel that coming into this role with this um, organisation. To my mind, they are actually beginning to treat tenants as people. And I feel that's how people should be treated. When I speak to them for repairs, and then the repair staff actually rang back and checked that everything was OK and everything went well. You don't feel like a number, you feel like a person. And I'm really grateful for what they do. I've got no fault at all. Since over and have taken over, they've refurbished completely the lounge, Thank you very much. new well, furniture, new carpets, well, which makes it a much more pleasant very place very to come much. in. Yes. They have very supported very us by giving us funding, and as a result of the funding, we've been able to do things like our computer class that you've seen today. Well, I'd just like to thank everyone at Wolverine and for their, the, the support. That they're always there for us. Um, and there's not very many organisations that you can say that of. It's interesting having a social landlord for a partner. First of all, from their knowledge that they have of the local community, which is quite awesome. And also because of the doors it can open up. This centre has only come about because Wolfen Housing has actually allowed us to have this property. They have been a very supportive partner to have. Wolven Housing, for instance, um, you know, they have, a, they have a vast number of houses. They have a huge amount of work to do. And I think it would be wonderful if we could join in partnership with them and, um, and together make a difference, not just physically in terms of emptying and moving people around the borough, but maybe some of the tenants in Wolven Housing finding employment through partnership contract work with us. The partnership with Wolven Housing has been invaluable. They have um, provided the venues that we're working from. Most of these young people are kinesthetic learners. They learn by doing. Yeah, the frustration with uh, uh, they're fed up of being sat in a classroom being talked about. Yeah, they need more hands-on stuff. When I was back at school, I didn't think I'd do as good as I've done now. They truly do understand how young people that come through this project and maybe get set in a slightly different direction in life, uh, that small change at the age of 14 or 15 will make a much bigger change when they get towards 20, 25, 30. I want to go to college to a mechanic course, apprentice in mechanics. When um, the vote had been taken for 
um, the stock to transfer and I very first met Sue Locke the first time she actually called me into her office in Delamere House. She may not actually remember this, but I always have. She asked me if there was one thing that she could do for me that would make a difference for my job, what would it be? And having thought about it, I said it would be to take the red tape from round my wrists. We've moved away um, and we've, done, we've removed the shackles of Croon Antwich Borough mm. Council. And she actually sat there and said, I just took it off, go and take some risks. Well, I've been allowed to make decisions and I've been able to get on with the job and make, you know, make a difference to people's lives, basically. And I think that epitomises Wolven as well. We're prepared to take the risk and staff know they can take the risk and feel safe about doing that because those who never took a risk never did anything. I think seeing Millhouse come to fruition, um, I didn't know anything at all about extra care when all this came about. It's just lovely, it's just um, a new way for the elderly. It's good that, you know, with, uh, you know, with the completion of uh, Bowkersfield Court and of Mill House in Antwich and also Moses Yard in Oudlin, we're now able to offer, you know, shared ownership as, as a different option. Seeing this rise up from, from that building has just been incredible and to be part of it and to be part of the team that are working on this, it's just absolutely lovely. Um, I think it'll be a roaring success. Tomorrow you can tell your children that, oh, that property over there is one that we build and that tenant there is one that I helped to assist to move them there or here. It's genuinely transformational, I think, housing and the, and the work that we do. And it makes me really proud that we've got the ability to act in those communities. It makes me feel good that the company actually does things and they're ultimately good for the people, if you know what I mean. Uh, I'm proud of the staff. I think to get where we are now, with the knowledge that we've got, is something to be proud of. We've moved from um, a can't-do to a can-do culture, which is very rewarding. <laughs>